Hello everyone, this is Mira, here to give you a rundown of our normal map lighting effect. Normal map lighting is one of the many downloadable layer effects you can find in our online effects library. You can get to the effects library from the effects menu in Hexels. Here you'll find a whole bunch of neat effects to add to your Hexels arsenal. You can even learn to write your own. Let's download normal map lighting. Unzip the file, switch back to Hexels, and import the effect, and you are ready to add normal map lighting to any layer of your masterpiece. Alright, now what is a normal map? Well, a normal map is an image that maps directions to colors. For instance, red represents the right side of a cube, blue the left, and green the top. You can also use various intermediate colors for slopes. To enable the normal map lighting effect, double-click the RGB layer to bring up the layer properties window, hit the plus button to reveal the list of effects, and pick normal map lighting. To apply the lighting to the underlying color layer, go to blending and pick multiply. While it may seem a little odd at first, the normal map effect allows you to separate your color information on a different layer. This means you can change the diffuse colors in your painting without having to repaint the lighting. The piece I'll be creating is based off of Spanish architect Ricardo Bofo's La Muralla Roja. I'm going to start off by painting completely flat diffuse colors for the structures, and then I'm going to create a layer above it with RGB colors and apply the normal map lighting effect. Once again, we'll use green for planes facing up, the planes facing left will be colored blue, and the planes facing right will be colored red. Once we've painted our directional information, we can use the normal map lighting effect to light our scene. This is a really powerful way to work, which allows you to change your lighting at any time and even animate the lighting. I'll create slopes and add more complex details using shades of yellow, cyan, and magenta. Yellow for slopes facing left and cyan for right, and I'll cut into the middle structure with magenta for forward facing planes. To add some more depth to my scene, I added some gradients for ambient shadows. At this point, I'm going to go a step further and show you how to animate your lighting from daytime to dusk to a starry night sky. To animate a sunset, I'll create a normal map gradient for the sky that blends from red to green. Once I apply the normal map lighting effect and blend it down, I'll open the timeline and add a bunch of keyframes, roll out the sky layer settings, and hit the key icon next to normal map lighting to enable keyframe animation. I'll double click the last cell to bring up the normal map sliders, drop my light intensity slider, and dial up the sunset slider. I'll do the same for the normal map settings of the structure and also manipulate a few more sliders to decrease brightness. And when I play it back, we'll have a smooth sunset animation. But you know what? Let's push it a little bit more and add a starry night sky. I've added a few more frames to extend my animation and laid in a dark blue background on a new layer. I keyed the opacity settings so that the sky starts blending in from the halfway point where the sunset ends. I'll paint stars on a layer above with halftone applied and key the opacity to match the timing of the night sky, fading them in at the same time. And finally, I added a sun to my scene and keyframed the start and end positions using the Layer Transform tool to animate its movement. I placed the layer under my normal map sky so that the sun can adapt to the colors of the sunset. That is it for our normal map lighting effect. Let us know if you've made something cool and check out our website to learn more about Hexels. Thanks for watching!